Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We're going to be going over the new leaks to do with Episode 3, or it could possibly be Episode 4. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be talking about Canada Graphs' blog post. You can check it out. He released it a couple of days ago on the 31st on Halloween. Sorry that I haven't made a video in a few days, it was my birthday on Halloween actually, so I haven't been able to make any videos since, took a little break, but now I am back and I'm going to be uploading hopefully daily and I mean in England, you know, we have to go back into a lockdown, so lots of videos for you guys, no worries about that. So, go check out Kenny Grouse's blog, it's going to be in the link in the description below. There's a lot of photos there and there's a lot of details and so follow him on Twitter at Canada Graph. so all the details are in the description. So yeah, The Flash Season 7 filming has been going on for a while now and today we were back out on the street the other day and we got a lot to talk about in regards to these new episodes. Canada Graphs isn't 100% sure if it's episode 3 or 4, possibly it could be 4, however more than likely it's episode 3 because they were planning to end the story, well that being the end of season 6 at the end of episode 3. So for now I'm just going to presume this is episode 3 and what we actually see is what would have been the season 6 finale. These scenes would have been filmed for that finale and instead it is how they're wrapping up the Eva storyline and it seems very very likely this is exactly what we're seeing right here. So. Let's go over what he says in the blog and what he was able to find out, and then we'll go over the photos that are attached with the blog. So the Flash is on location for Season 7 shooting in British Columbia Place Stadium, better known as the exterior for Star Labs, so basically they were filming outside of Star Labs. So that was on Thursday and Friday night, so that was before Halloween. And so there's two parts of the set and on this second night a lot happened and a portion of the blog that we're reading is going to focus on the later scenes which adds more context into the first part which sets a cliffhanger up. Okay, so the early part of the night was committed to continuing on from the other night's scene which was mainly consisting of a battle between Grant Gustin as a Flash and Ifrit Dorr as Eva McCulloch slash Mirror Mistress. As I stated in the other blog, Candace Patton joined the scene on the second night to do a scene where she can be seen holding hands of Eva and even consoling her, and also the Flash was reaching out towards Eva. Well, his plan was to join her, to hold hands with her. The trio stood on the steps together looking out at something. What were they looking at? What had these former foes seemingly teaming up? It appears a plethora of Mirror Mistress clones, as there was somewhere in a range of six to eight actresses running around dressed like Eva, shooting their arm cannons at a variety of background who were running around in a panic. In the background a car was burning while this all went on. So does this new trio team win this battle? It seems so. While we never see them fight them in any way other than hold hands and stare towards them, eventually they act like they've won and it is over. There was also a scene shot that I did not have photos for, but I do have a video clip that he will post later in the week, where there were a couple of Mirror Mistress clones with their arm cannons pointed at the Flash, who was kneeling on the ground between the pair. Eventually they leave as Eva takes over. That scene seems to be immediately before Iris comes over to Eva, but he can't 100% confirm the order of those scenes. And so let's go over the photos for this first part and then we'll go to the second part of this blog. And so yeah, you can see right here and you know the images have been playing all video. However, you get to see the Flash, Eva and Iris holding hands. So it's confirmed from this, Iris is out of the Mirrorverse or Barry is inside the Mirrorverse. But more likely than not, Iris has escaped and they are actually all teaming up. And it seems like Eva has somehow lost control of her clones, obviously we haven't seen her clones before, it's a new thing, but it seems like that will be what is happening. Seems like they are teaming up, as Canada Graph said, and so they're holding hands, presumably, you know, using Eva's power in some way to control those clones, and they somehow win. And so I guess Iris, you know, as it said in the blog, 
somehow consoles Eva and, you know, makes her look on the good side of things, I guess, and she doesn't rain havoc anymore. Then we move on to the next photo. This is Barry and Iris, and so this is the first set photos we've seen of them together. So I thought it was really cool. You see them standing up here on some sort of ledge, and they are looking down towards those Eva clones and probably the real Eva as well. And then Eva actually joins them up there at that same place, and then they go on to actually hold hands like I just showed you. So they're all teaming up together and I thought it was interesting that they all have gloves on. I know that's like a restriction thing, but I thought it was pretty cool that they're all kind of suited up. Iris is suited up in a way. She's got this nice big long trench coat on and she's got the cool gloves. So I just think this is a nice photo. I think Kenny Grass did a really good job and I think this is going to be a cool scene. So yeah, supposedly this is for the finale, for what would have been the finale more like. In that, you know, this is like the final moment. You can just tell from the photos that this is leading up towards Eva stopping being a villain, essentially. And so the final photo in regards to this is the Eva clones. You can see about four of them right here. And they're just pointing at bystanders and, you know, they're all dressed up. they got the cannons, so presumably they're just clones and these clones are raining havoc where Eva doesn't want to do that anymore, it seems like. Okay, so let's move on to the second part of the blog, and so this continues on from that, and it says, The late night scene that happened after their midnight lunch break saw the same trio there, now joined by two additional characters, Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon, or is he Vibe, and Daniel Panabaker in a first public shoot since becoming a real-life mum as Killer Frost. They join the trio on the staircase, Cisco pulls off his Vibe-looking glasses, as the group looks out towards the scene unfolding in front of them. The way they are lined up, it's like any photo of the cast in a promo photo that I have ever seen. Is Eva joining Team Flash as a regular or is this her farewell redemption arc like Marley's DeVoe a couple of seasons ago? Throughout the two nights, they frequently would shoot their big reaction full view scenes on the staircase facing the street. For the more close up takes, they would move back into the plaza more and film them while they were standing sideways from the street probably due to the fact it was unsafe for them to set up so close to the stairs to do these shots. That's why a few shots seems like I'm iron slash to the side of them for what seems like the same scene. There will be plenty of video from these two nights to post in the next week or so, so come back to find those then. You can go check it out on his YouTube channel as well. So that is about it. So let's go ahead and break it down, what we talked about, along with the photos. So yeah. We have Carlos Valdez showing up, we have Danielle Panabaker showing up, and in this photo right here, you can see Danielle is back as Killer Frost. This is the first time we've seen her in public since, you know, filming stopped and filming started for this new season. Obviously you got the Flash there, you've got Eva and Ira still in the same position on the staircase. And additionally you've got Vibe here, you've got Cisco, who is presumably in his Vibe kit, and although he doesn't have his powers at the moment, Seems like he's got the vibe goggles because he was wearing them and if you go check out the blog there is a photo of him including him wearing the glasses and he's also got this weird funky thing which we'll talk about in a minute but I'm just interested at the fact that Killer Frost is here mainly because I wasn't expecting her to show up because if you guys didn't know at the end of the season she actually went off and she wasn't supposed to be in the finale because Danielle was actually on maternity leave. And due to them having to delay and them putting the end of Season 6 at the start of Season 7, they've actually made it work so that Killer Frost is here. So she comes back pretty fast, which is very interesting to see because that break is just going to be like over the summer or something, you know, potentially like saying, oh yeah, you know, she went away for a few weeks in the summer, maybe like a couple of months, and then she came back and then she helped defeat Eva. And so yeah, Cisco is back as well. Cisco is sticking around at least for the most part of this season, which is very exciting as well. Let's go to the last photo, and this is of just the two of them. So that's Killer Frost and Vibe. And I want to go specifically to the bottom part of this image that you can see right here. You can see the goggles on his right hand, and then he's got some sort of gauntlet with some sort of device attached. It doesn't seem like a gun or something, but I have no idea what it is. It's interesting, and I was like, what the hell is this when I first saw it, and I'm still like, what the hell is this? But it's some sort of device that's going to help him, and he's fully armored up, so he's suited up and everything, so 
Is Cisco going to get his powers back? Is he not? We have to wait and see, but it's cool to see both him and Killer Frost there because that's the first time we've seen them out in the public this season. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for the support recently, especially on the live streams. For you who have been showing up and supporting me via Super Chat and everything. Also, people becoming members of the channel. You just click the join button. I really, really appreciate you and all of you who just tune in. It's the best. I've been loving it. This week, I should have a special guest. Talking about Canada Graphs, I'm going to try and get Canada Graphs on this week's live stream. The live stream is either going to be on Thursday or Friday this week. Please be sure to look out for that. It will be a special live stream because I will have a guest and it most likely will be Canada Graphs. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Check out the live streams and check out the videos as they return to regular formatting. So, you know, most days there will be videos out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.